In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really simple little trick that you can use to actually make the cover three defense really vulnerable to corner routes. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button below. It's completely free to do that and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now to do this, I'm in the gun stack Y flex, but this concept can actually be applied to several different offenses and formations. All you need is a corner route to the wide side of the field and a running back in your formation. That's pretty much it. We're gonna go over how this concept works, but before we dive too deep into the concept, I wanna let you know about my route concept encyclopedia. This is a resource that I put together towards the end of Madden 21 um, to be something that is actually usable beyond Madden 21 and really a timeless resource. It's a one-time purchase of $15. And what you get in it is you get all of my route concepts that have been good for years. They've been good since Madden 12, Madden 13, when I originally learned a lot of them in those games, and they've carried their way over all the way through Madden 21. So I suspect they're gonna be good in Madden 22 and beyond. So if you wanna get my route concept encyclopedia where we go over three wide receiver concepts, four wide receiver concepts, spread concepts, compression concepts, short side of the field passing concepts, wide side of the field passing concepts, there's a link in the description. And for those of you that have the guide, just know that we are gonna to continue to update this guide over the coming weeks as we prepare for the Madden 22 launch. And our goal is to consistently update this guide every single year with the entirety of the route concepts that we learned that year. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's go into this video. And I wanna just first and foremost really hit on this Z-Spot route. And what we notice, um, if you ever watch this, um, this is kind of a um, something that's actually really good for the air raid offense. This is actually known as the wide corner concept. You have a spot route, you have the flat, and then you have the corner. Now obviously we learned in Madden 21 that you can smart route this corner and make it basically become a deeper version of a slant out route. So what I can do on this is on the back side, we've also talked about this concept. I can smart route the square receiver and put the triangle on a hitch. And that's a really good spacing concept that'll beat any zone and any man in the game. Back to the right side for just a second. Um, what you're gonna notice here though is against cover three, if I don't have a vertical route, you're gonna see here that the X receiver, especially if it's to the wide side of the field, is basically gonna get matched if it's a cover three defense. It's not exactly the same to the short side of the field, but real quick, one more time, I just want you to watch on this play, I want you to watch how that solo side corner works, that outside corner that you're gonna see, and we're gonna show you how to manipulate him in just a second, but I just want you to watch how he plays, you see he drifts, and then as you notice right there, he notices that the corner route is the only route vertical, and so he takes the corner route in batch coverage. How do we get around this so that we can make this throw consistently against both cover four and cover three uh, Mabel? Well, the best way that I know how to do this as of late, this is a new development and a new concept that I'm actually still tweaking, but I think it's really important to share this with you. All we're gonna do is instead of putting the running back on a swing route, we're gonna put him on a wheel. And what you'll notice is this wheel route will actually suck the corner to the inside. So we watch the wheel route, and if you watch here, and I'll show this in this replay, but now all of a sudden we're able to complete the best route in the game, the corner route. It's been the best route in the game as long as I've been a Madden player because it's away from the users to the outside and we didn't have to put a vertical route in the field. So let me show you what happens in instant replay. What you're gonna see happen on this play is um, if you watch this corner, at the snap of the ball, you're going to see that there's no vertical route. The running back's running flat. So the corner is seeing that, oh, I'm in vertical. So if you take a look at this point right here, the corner at this point is looking at the tight end because the running back does not turn vertical. As soon as the running back turns vertical, watch the corner hips. You see he still drifts to the outside. See that right there? He's drifting outside. And then right here, you see he's actually coming back inside as I'm starting to throw this ball. Before, he would be over in here. But because of this wheel route, and if you actually look at his eyes, look at where he's looking. He's not looking at the tight end. In fact, he's not even looking at the quarterback. But what he's doing is he's looking right at the running back. So that is how you can manipulate the cover three defense, in my opinion, because what's gonna happen is this outside third defender 
whenever you create a Mabel concept, even regardless of if it's cover four or cover three, you're gonna see that this will be 100% consistent. So again, I'm just gonna run the same concept. Watch that corner route, you see? He drifts to the outside at first, but then once he recognizes the wheel, he cuts inside, and I'm able to throw the corner route against the best defense to defend corner routes in this game. What you're gonna also notice is, let me put this guy in an outside quarter, and I'm gonna put an inside quarter here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this guy in a purple, and I'm gonna put this guy in a hard flat, okay? So we still have the Mabel concept out of cover four. And I just want you to watch, and watch that outside quarter, you're gonna see wheel route, he sucks inside, and the corner route's able to be delivered. To me, this is a huge breakthrough in passing. Um, using wheel routes is something that I personally haven't been very good at, very effective at. Now, let me just show you one little last thing. Um, I'm gonna make one slight little adjustment that you might not have expected, but I'm just gonna put the running back on a ghost pattern. A lot of people say that the ghost route is the best route to uh, pull zones. And what you'll see here is no. As you can see, he gets matched. The only thing that changed was the wheel route compared to the other route. So let me show it to you one more time. And again, this works against cover four. It also works against cover three, okay? And as you can see here, we're obviously in a cover three. So all I'm doing is wheeling the R1. He's obviously gonna cut up in between. And you see, against cover three, that route is still open. And, and I actually had a bad throw from Brady. So let me show it to you one more time. And then I also wanna show you one little thing that you can do with wheel, route, wheel routes that I don't think you might have known about, at least from a hot route of the wheel route this year. So again, let me just show you the X. You're gonna see here that the X receiver, corner drops back, I'm pass leading down the way. As you can see, it gets in a really unique position against the Mabel concept. And then the last thing that I wanna show is this right here. This is very popular for people, and if you're playing more of a traditional Mabel, you might see something like that, okay? And I just want you to watch the running back. Even though they're bringing all of these zones in to defend him, they're still not gonna actually be able to stop the wheel. If I wait on this route to come inside, you're gonna see that it's actually going to, and, and of course, I, as I say that, I, it got kind of jammed and kind of got pushed outside. But you're gonna see that the, the wheel route, it should be a pretty decent read for us later on in this play. The circle receiver might be kind of the reason why this is being a little bit weird. Um, and I might need to put the circle receiver on like an out route or something. But just watch this running back cut, watch him cut upfield. And I'm just passing it to the inside, cut it off, and that you can see beats Mabel coverage. The corner route pulls all the zones outside, and now the running back comes in underneath it. The cool part about this, in my opinion, is that this isn't just good for a corner route. If you have a spot route on your field and they're not putting yellow zones out there, you can throw your spot route wide open because that flat pulls all the zones out of the way and the spot route's sitting wide open. So this is a concept, a three wide receiver uh, route tree that I think you need to be using more of in your game. Um, let me just show it to you flipped real quick, um, just so you can see it maybe a little bit better um, of a light for the defense. This is a better setup, in my opinion, for the defense, but if you watch how this works, we're gonna do the same exact thing. And now what you're gonna see is that corner route should get just as open, if not more open on the sideline. It doesn't matter short side or wide side. So this is a concept that you can start using today that you're gonna have a lot of success with in Madden 22. And really, it's kind of the perfect way to build a three wide receiver flood because you have the wheel route early if they're not playing hard flats. You have the spot route in case they're not playing yellows. Your corner's gonna beat the outside cloud flats. And then if all that, for whatever reason, might be covered, your back could be a late read of the scene. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you check out this concept. And if you wanna learn more concepts like this, be sure to pick up my route concept encyclopedia that's linked down in the description as it's something we're gonna to continue to update from Madden to Madden and really prepare you guys as passers for the next year's game.